Right, um, this is going to be a tutorial on how to do a snapshot of your drive so that you don't have to keep reinstalling your OS if your drive buggers out, you just reinstall this image. Okay, I'm going to be using a virtual image of uh, XP um, to do this. Um, it will work on any system, um, doesn't matter. Um, Okay, there are a few things you're going to need. You're going to need a program called Drive Snapshot. Um, I'll provide the links in the bottom of this video. And you'll also need he um, Heron's Boot CD for restoring the images. And I'll put a link to that as well. So we just wait for the virtual machine to boot up. Let me make the screen a bit bigger. Okay, so I've already got Drive Snapshot here, okay, um, but just so you know, let's just show you where you download it from. Okay, on this, you go to download and installation. And you just download the exe. You don't have to download the setup file. Just the standalone is fine. Okay, so you run the standalone, and you say backup disk to file. Okay, now I'm going to backup the C drive to the D drive. Now you'll notice the C drive is 40 gigs, and the D drive is only 5 gigs. <coughs> There's only there's enough um, it only it only backs up the data, not the whole disk. So there's used 5013. I've got free on here. 5086. So it's enough. So I'm going to back that up. I just say next. And where do I want to put it? I go my computer. I say D. And I'm going to call it C drive. I'm going to save. Um, you can basically leave everything these al uh, of these alone. Just go OK and say start copy. Now what I'll do is <coughs> I'm going to um, pause the video for a while. Um, you'll see now it says that it's going to take. Um, let's just wait. It doesn't take it doesn't take long. I mean you can see how fast it's writing. Um, it's going to take about five minutes. So while this is pausing, I will. I mean while this is writing, I will pause. Right, so as you can see, it's coming up towards finishing the image. In total, it only had to create an image of 3 gigabytes. Okay, so there it's done. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to switch off the virtual machine. Once it's switched off, I'm going to disconnect that virtual hard drive and create a new blank one. So it would basically be a formatted hard drive. Mm, remove. Okay, and then I'll add another one. Okay, so this is now a blank hard drive, and if I start the virtual machine you'll see there's nothing on that hard drive. Okay, this is the boot CD, as you can see there's nothing on the hard drive. So let me reset it. Okay, now we're going to boot the virtual machine with its new blank hard drive and we're going to use the Heron's boot CD to boot off. So I'm going to say power on this virtual machine, get into full screen, 
and now because there's nothing on the hard drive I choose mini windows XP which is on the on the um, Hiran's boot CD and once it's booted we're going to um, we're going to into drive snapshot and we will restore that image and it will take a fraction of the time of reinstalling let me just make the screen bigger So we go to backup and we go to snapshot and now we say restore disk from file. Now we go to the one we made before which is now here, drive C snapshot and we say next and then it asks where do we want to restore it to. We want to restore it to this one that had four, uh, 40 gigabytes so I say next and you just say yes and now it is restoring and as you can see it's going to take about f five and a half minutes to restore the full virtual uh, the full image of the operating system that's a lot quicker than installing again so I'm going to pause now while this uh, restores and we will come back to it once it's finished restoring Okay, so we're approaching the end of the um, re-imaging. As you can see, it took a little over eight minutes. Um, but admittedly, this is a virtual machine. I was also busy doing some other stuff, so the virtual machine was running around in the background. It would have been a lot faster if it was a real machine. Um, just something I want to touch over, although I backed it up to a, f a, a virtual physical hard drive, you don't have to. You can back it up to a DVD, you can back it up to a USB drive, um, whatever you choose to... Um, whatever you choose to back it up to is fine okay now we just got to go to disk management and set that partition as active there we go now it will boot from it okay now what I'm going to do as well is um, I technically just have to uh, eject the CD so I'm going to eject it there Okay, now we just restart the machine. <coughs> now we just uh, start the virtual machine up. And we should boot straight back into Windows. Uh, boot from hard drive. And there it goes. Now it should come back with all of the same settings. I'm just going to disconnect this the CD. And that's effectively ejecting the CD. And there you go. This is the image we created earlier. So that took a total of 8 minutes to reinstall. Everything works as it was. And you it keeps all your settings, everything like that, so it's a lot quicker than having to reinstall your system. I hope you found this uh, useful.